to show you a new VS Code extension um, that may be helpful. Uh, so we've been focused on a lot on debugging. Um, and I know that sometimes even um, with the live coding and the screencasts on YouTube and, and being able to look at my code in GitHub, um, some things still get off and while uh, between your code and my code and things don't work on your computer. Um, and while the best approach is to debug that through um, the, out, the debug output and actually see why is the node server not running or why is it crashing or where is the exception coming from. Um, sometimes it's just not, we, we don't have enough experience to be able to connect what the is said but in the de, uh, debug output to what the issue actually is. So um, sometimes we just have to say like, well, how exactly is your code different than my code? And so I use a different tool for this, but I wanted to find a tool that was accessible to all of you. Um, and so after a little bit of research, I think this VS Code extension may be a good option. So in the, um, if you click here on extensions in our toolbar and search for diff folders, you will find this extension, diff folders. Um, and I've installed it. And what it allows you to do is compare two different folders in Visual Studio Code. Um, and I think that uh, is going to be helpful. Um, because what you can do with this then is you can be within your project, and right now I'm within my project, um, and you can download and extract um, a zip archive of my GitHub repository for our periods class notes. Um, and then you can go to the um, view menu and choose command palette or shift control p and if you type new diff panel um that's the new command that's available because of this extension and when i click on this uh, it brings up the following so by default as near i can tell um, the left side path is that of the current folder that is open in vs code um, in this case my GitHub repository, in your case would be your GitHub repository. And then what we can do is we can specify a different folder on the right hand side here. And we do that by clicking on the folder icon um, and navigating to wherever that folder is downloaded and selecting it. Here is a, a download zip file for a specific commit in the past from my a GitHub for our class period notes. And then once you have both paths specified, both folders specify, you click on compare and it shows you, by default, it shows you um, all the files that exist in one folder and not the other, like .env um, and entry.js. Um, and it also shows you files that exist in both folders but are different in some way. So for example, we can see that server.js exists in both folders but it's different in some way. Um, what is shown can be adjusted by these different buttons here. I had I, I now, in hindsight, understand what the icons mean, but if you're not sure, like I wasn't, just hover over it until the tooltip pops up, and then you'll know what those do. Um, so different options here in terms of what's visible, different options here in terms of what you select, as well as the ability to copy files back and forth. But let's say we're like, oh, interesting, server.js is different, and I didn't expect that. Maybe I missed something. Let me see how our files are different, and if I double-click on server.js, it brings up another window, which is the diff um, or the comparison between uh, those two different files um, for server.js. And so code that is the same will show up like normal, um, and code that has been deleted um, on the deleted on the right compared to the left, I think is how it goes, will show up in red. Um, and I believe code that is added will show up in green. Um, in the sidebar here where you scroll, you can also see um, at a glance where uh, the chunk of code is that has been removed. So that can be helpful to find the right thing to take a look at. Um, so I can look through this. I can see what's um, in this case different. Um, I can even like if I want to then uh, go back into the file um, and be like, oh, okay, so I need to like copy these lines or whatever. Um, and so I can like copy the delete, I can right click and say copy the deleted lines or revert the change or copy a single line. You've got some options here in the contextual menu that you can take advantage of. Um, you can also do things like 
move up and down to see previous and next changes, which I think is uh, helpful as well. Um, so they got some good options there for us. So I hope that this helps you um, be able to look at changes between two different folders, particularly I think in the short term um, between your project folder and my project folder that you can download from GitHub.